Wait a minute, what is this mask? In the last story, I talk about how funny I thought the uh, grandma masks are. But look at this one. It's a grandpa. His name is Old Timer. And I gotta say, he kind of looks like me. This is unfair. Let's play again. Holy crap, guys. Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've never been to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And look at this, once again, we are surrounded by mountains. What the heck, man, so awesome. It's funny too, because the mountains look completely different from the ones in Colorado. But that's not what we're here to see, guys. This is the Spirit Halloween in an old Burks outlet. This is a pretty cool looking Spirit Halloween. And if you look closely under the sign, you can still see the word outlet as a label scar. Okay, let's go ahead in guys and see what the Spirit Halloween in Albuquerque, New Mexico has to offer. Caution, step. Yes, sir. Thank you, automatic doors. Yes, this is an awesome looking store, guys. I cannot wait to get in here and do a little bit of exploring. And look who we have right up front, Mrs. Leatherface. And of course we have Papa Pins. Now this one is as tall as he should be. Remember the store we were in just the other day where there was like something wrong with his legs and he was really short and hunched over? That was very, very strange. And straight through the Spirit Hollow Cemetery arches we have the Martian Warrior. I almost called him the Mountain Warrior, which would make a lot of sense where we're at because there are mountains outside. Excuse me, sir, do you live in those mountains? All right, let's keep on moving on with our journey, guys. All right, let's say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> oh, I heard the crunch and the scream, but her neck did not Break. This is the first time in history when anybody's ever said, I'm sorry your neck did not break. All right, let's go on through, guys. We have Mike Dagger. I know, his name is actually Dagger Mike. I called him Mike Dagger the other day, and people got mad. They got mad. Can you believe it? I know, I can't believe it either, sir. We also have the sitting scarecrow, and look at this. Okay, just watch for a second. Here we go. Oh, it is the scary sitting scarecrow. Every time I come into a spirit, it's different. Sometimes they have the regular one, sometimes they have the scary one, but regardless, I'm going to leave some stickers in his bowl. There's about 20 of them in there. If you come in and find them, don't take them all. Leave some for other people. Oh my gosh, guys, look at poor George. What the heck? He's got to be missing something because something is very strange here. He definitely has earned the name Poor George with that outfit. All right, we got Slim here and okay, hold on a minute. Something is different with Slim as well. Look at his neck. His neck looks like twice as long as it usually is. All right, we got a whole bunch of stuff set up over here, guys, but let's look at some of these animatronics that they have on the floor for sale right here, right now. Like the little skelly bones. There's a Desmodus. We have a Papa Pins over here. This setup is looking pretty good, except for this evil guy. We have a Calderonus here. We have a Fogging Skull Pile, uh, the Widow. We have another Calderonus, a Darling Dolly on the bottom, and a Emmeline on the bottom here. So I was asking everybody in a couple of my last videos what it is that he says when he jumps up, because I heard him talking, but I couldn't understand what he was saying because there's so many other sounds around in here. See if we can get him going. Okay, here we go. Now listen. Get out of my graveyard. Okay, that is the first time ever that I've heard him so clearly. And I could clearly tell that he said, get out of my graveyard. Which is honestly, in my opinion, kind of a strange thing for him to say. Wouldn't you think he'd say something about heck 
or demons or something like that. But he says, get out of my graveyard. Although it does kind of fit the theme because he's set up right here among all these headstones. The unholy remains, L Ripper, Rip, Rip, Eileen Wright, Tomb, sweet tomb. We've got bigger ones down here. And look at this one. This one actually has candles. I'll bet you anything those actually light up. All right, let's move on over here to the howling spirit and get him going. I love this guy. And we have the gargoyle guy here. Will he work? Will, what is up with the gargoyle guy? He looks totally cool, even if he didn't do anything. But he is, well, he's not an animatronic, but he does turn on and he makes sounds and his eyes light up. But in most stores, he's not working. All right, people have asked me to look at this right here. The Spirit Hollow Cemetery Mausoleum Row. Now, you'll have to slow this down or freeze it or whatever if you see what you want to see to see how much it is. And these are sold at the end of the season. Man, I can hear the Grave Watcher from over here. She, listen to this. She is so loud. For a whispering prop, she is super loud. I love her and I need to pick her up someday. We got the skelly bones over here. Let's get him going. I hear him. I can hear him. Come on. There's the skelly. And the Desmodus is already in mid-flight. Whoa, wait a minute. This might, act oh yeah. This goes to Darling Dolly. Here she comes. There she is. Darling Dolly works most of the time, guys. Look at that turkey neck. Makes me want some Thanksgiving dinner. Whoa, I didn't even see all these guys. Holy crap, one of these is going home with me today. First, let's get Gordo going. Look how good he is lit up already. Some of these you see, they're hardly lit up. You gotta love Gordo. I can't wait to get home and set mine up. I'll leave a couple of stickers down here. People always tell me to put them in his mouth, but I'm not going to do that because it could interfere. Let's say a quick hello to the black heart. Hello to the... Oh, there he goes. He is super loud in here. Together, we shall roam among the living. Okay, sounds good. So anyways, guys. <laughs> wow, they are pretty stocked up with everything over here. All right, we'll get to that stuff. First, let's take a look at all this stuff over here, guys. Check this out. We have a Darling Dolly on the bottom. We have a Sitting Scarecrow on top. We have a Black Heart on top over here and a Sandworm Groundbreaker on the bottom. We have a Howling Spirit and a Hot Nozzles under him. Back over here, we have three Eternal Rests, another Black Heart, two straw mans on the bottom there another eternal rest here right on top of two emmeline's we have two little jack carvers two mr punchies down here getting ready to say bad words we have another little jack carver right here on top of the posable skeletons a little skelly bones a young crouchy over here another young crouchy over here and another little jack carver right here but that is not all guys look at this we have two bubba's over here a straw man another straw man two more mr punchies on the bottom oh my gosh look guys they actually have a grim in stock that is the first grim i've seen this entire season in any store we have a howling spirit i almost called him a howling spirit we have a howling spirit another emmeline and who is this the cauldronus over here the Cauldronus is an awesome looking prop. I don't think I would buy her even though I am into that kind of Halloween theme. Wait, look at this. We have even more over here. We have a Leatherface over here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have a Stilts aka Papa Pins. All right, let's see. These are not animatronics, but they are inflatables. Look at this. They have three of the giant snakes down here. We have a scary clown archway on the top of that pile. Look at this. They have both of the giant killer clowns inflatables the one with all three and then the giant 12 foot jumbo on top of that the 12 foot pennywise right there and two of the 12 foot 
ghost faces beside him. I'll leave them some stickers. And here's all the other inflatables over here, most of which we have seen. I think this may be the first time I've seen the inflatable skeleton in the store this year. Oh my gosh, guys, check this out. I have not seen these since the flagship store in New Jersey. Let's get a close look at these. Look at this. This is a purple pumpkin with a witch hat on. That's pretty cool. It's just a little blow mold. I don't even think it doesn't even light up. Then there's this green one, Wicked Witch of the West. And then there's this pumpkin guy who kind of looks like a scarecrow with a scarecrow hat on. I wish those lit up. Wait a minute. Look, there's more down here. We have a small pumpkin skull that's just like one of these that I bought the other day. And then look at this. It's a clown pumpkin. I haven't seen either of these in stores. Here's those Hauntleys things that I saw in the last store in, I think it was Santa Fe. 60 minutes talking, singing, joking. It includes three characters, vampire, zombie, and skeleton. So that must be the zombie, that must be the vampire, very strange looking vampire, and here's the skeleton on the other side. And look at this guys, they also have the Jabber and Jacks. These are awesome. These are also the animated 3Ds that just makes a face on the pumpkin. It's like a projector there projects the face, and it has 70 minutes of custom animations. Pumpkin stacks, skeleton stacks, and secret keeping cats. And what is Scabs doing up here among the cats? We have creeping cats, hello rat, and a whole bunch of carrots. Let's look at Carrot. We haven't looked at Carrot in a few stores. He is so cool. I love Carrot. I actually bought Carrot, and I think he's back at home, maybe? I don't remember. I'm in New Mexico, and Carrot is back home in Ohio. I'm sorry, sir, about your brother. Here's for the cauldron. Man, guys, this store is absolutely stocked. Look at this. We have both of the walking hands, the walking bloody hand, and the walking monster hand. Wait a minute, what is this mask? In the last story, I talk about how funny I thought the uh, grandma masks are. But look at this one. It's a grandpa. His name is Old Timer. And I gotta say, he kind of looks like me. This is unfair. All right, let's make our way back over here because we gotta look at all of these zombie babies. Look at this, guys. Holy crap. I don't think I've been in a store yet this season that has had this many zombie babies. We have the singing baby, we have the mothy baby, we have the rat eating baby, the butt baby, we have the hand eating baby, the cockroach eating baby, the spider biting baby, the crawling baby, the brain eating baby, and this baby who I don't quite understand, but he is very, very creepy looking. And if you guys haven't seen on my other channel, That Naked Guy on Halloween, I opened up an entire case of Spirit Halloween Zombie Baby bag clips. Totally awesome, well worth the money. Whoa, look at this Bates Motel sign. Have I seen this before, guys? Have I ever pointed this out? Is there a button that it can light up? <gasps> Okay, there's a button, but it's not lighting up. That is pretty cool. Oh, I missed a couple of the zombie babies. We have this one right here who's digging into the pumpkin to get the guts and fill her tummy, even though she has a hair spout. We have the Sam horror baby and the ghost face horror baby. Speaking of Sam, let's look at these Sam lights because I usually pass these up, but I like to look at them sometimes. Oh, that's stuck right on the face, but you can see the pumpkin actually lights up inside. That's pretty cool. And then we have this one down here where he's standing by a lamp post and the lamp post actually lights up and then we have this one where the pumpkin lights up as well look what they have they have the chucky side stepper okay. <laughs> that is cool i'm glad he actually talks Wow, he just keeps on going. I wonder if he's on a sensor. Yeah, that's cool that he actually talks. I bought that ghost face one the other day, and I love it, but I wish he said some ghost face phrases. We got the Michael Myers carving the pumpkin. And the ghost face with the spooky pumpkin. Devil door knocker. And the vampire door knocker. Hello? Are you sure you want to go inside? 
Yeah, I did that on purpose. We have some good guys Chuckies over here. We have a couple of Annabelles. We have some sitting Sam dolls here, but I do not see the one that everybody's looking for. All right, let's just come back here and look at these hats for a minute. I did buy the banana hat for Grimm the other day in one of these stores, but they also have a pineapple hat. They have this dinosaur hat, which totally cracks me up. Kind of reminds me of Reptar from Rugrat. They have a beer hat and a pink flamingo hat as well as a rainbow hat. They always have the marshmallow costumes, and I don't know if I've seen this one yet where he's dressed like a skeleton. Is that part of the whole costume? I mean, there's a mask in there. Oh yeah, I guess so. That is the whole costume, hooded jumpsuit and a mask. I don't think I've seen that one before. See, this is what I love about being in these stores, guys. When a whole bunch of people start showing up and they get the animatronics going and there's all kinds of halloween -y sounds and stuff. So, little Jack Carver. Now here's the thing, this is the problem about buying any of these while I'm out on the road. If I buy it and it doesn't work, then I have to deal with trying to take it back to a store that is not the store I bought it from, and that just kind of feels a little unfair. Let's leave a few stickers for the zombie babies. Look guys, I haven't seen these in the stores this year yet. It's the secret keeping Binks kitties. All right, I think I've seen everything I wanna see in this store, guys. This is an awesome store, it's huge, and it is completely packed. Wow, one more look at those mountains before I take off, guys. That is unbelievable. So, totally awesome. Good job, Spirit Halloween in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah.